Do women lack vision in leadership? It's probably not an accident that a man invented the term BHAG, big, hairy, audacious goal. Thank you, Jim Collins. Men are famous for driving higher, faster, farther. Men are more likely to be lauded for taking big risks and less likely to be punished and penalized for making mistakes. Just look at Steve Jobs' career trajectory. Men are more likely than women to brag and have huge visions, and they're more likely to get those visions funded. Don't believe me? Look up the statistics on DC-funded female founder startups. I can tell you that as a woman, it can be pretty depressing to have your big vision ignored and left undeveloped and unencouraged. And I'm not crying over spilled milk. I've gotten pretty far on my vision. And I can say with confidence that after interviewing hundreds of CEOs, both men and women, and coached hundreds of clients, it's true that the world does not encourage women to pursue their visions as often as it encourages the men. The world is more likely to give a mess created by a man to a woman to clean up. And if you don't believe me, Google the term glass cliff. So think about it pragmatically. If you're a woman whose vision is left undeveloped and unencouraged, and you're given a lot of messes made by men who are pursuing BHAG goals that didn't come to fruition, how incentivized are you to keep pursuing your own vision? It's not always the highest thing on your priority list. And women have vision, lots of it. Our world could benefit from bringing more women's visions to reality. Don't believe me? Google women are good for business. So what's the solution? Well, women, pursue your vision and encourage other women to do so as well. You could be saving the world. And men, learn about women's visions and encourage them to cultivate those visions into pragmatic plans that are worthy of support. You could be saving the world too. What's your experience with gender and vision? Share your ideas and comments below. Thank you.